Hey guys, VFX Bro here with a new tutorial. We're going to be showing you how to make a hybrid photo. And what that means is that we have a still photo with a portion of the photo moving. So um, we, I've seen this effect a few times before, but it's not too commonly used yet. And um, there's going to be a video coming out later on this week that has um, several of these photos. But we're going to show you how we, we got this effect here. Um, you're going to start off with a still picture, and so what we did is we took a picture here of uh, my dog Sawyer here, and we also took a video of him just uh, standing here in the park. And so what you want to do is take the picture first, and then you want to take video of the portion of the photo that you want to be moving. So let's go ahead and move into After Effects here, we're going to start off. We have our picture here, we're going to bring it into a new composition, and our final export was um, 1920 by 1080p, so we're going to start off by changing the uh, dimensions of this picture. Often, especially when shooting with DSLRs, the pictures are going to have a lot higher resolution than the video. So we're going to change the resolution of our comp to match that of our final video export. So we're going to hit Command K, and it's going to bring up our width and height, and we're going to change that to 1920 by 1080p. You usually want this to match the resolution of your of your video. Uh, that way you don't have any loss in quality during your final export. We're going to hit OK here. And now we're going to bring in our video file. So with our picture brought in here, we can see that it's cut it down a little bit. So we want to change the scale. So we're going to hit S here and bring down the scale until it matches. It looks like 62.5 will give us an accurate size. So now we're going to grab our, our video file here and drag it in on top. and. We're going to go to the portion of this video that we can see the dog's position lines up most closely to our um, original picture. So right around here looks pretty good. So knowing that at about six seconds um, the dog stands pretty still and we can see his tongue um, moving up and down, we're going to go to about six seconds into our composition. Okay, so now having brought in this video file and placing it in the correct spot of the timeline, um, we can ram, RAM preview through it here and take a look at what we've got. We can see that the dog stands fairly still, which is great because it'll make um, our job a lot easier. Um, there is obviously a little bit of motion, so we're going to compensate for that motion by stabilizing the footage. So the two basic parts of making these hybrid photos is to composite the video into the photo and also stabilizing the video so that it can be composited into it. So we're going to select this video file here. We're going to go to our workspace motion tracking. We're going to go over to our stabilize motion feature and while moving to the front of this video clip we're going to stabilize um, the back of his mouth. So we're going to go rotation and position selected we're going to hit V and we're going to bring this up here and find a nice point of contrast. We can see there's a little dent in his tooth right there that we can use to stabilize. And then if we grab this piece right here, we want to make sure that we're stabilizing on a part that we want to be still. So um, in this shot, obviously his tongue is moving and we want it to move, but we want it to be stabilized around a part of his mouth um, that wouldn't be moving. So obviously his teeth wouldn't be moving, um, so we're going to stabilize around that. We can bring these windows down a little bit because there's not going to be a whole lot of movement going on. And now we're going to go ahead and track forward. And that works right about there. We don't need that many frames because we're just going to be repeating the same movement over and over again. But we can see there's definitely a little bit, a bit of jostling going on there. And uh, the stabilize feature here in After Effects is going to fix that right up. So we're going to go ahead and apply and hit OK. And now we have that footage stabilized here, which is perfect. Now let's go ahead and apply a mask around to this portion of the tongue. So if we go ahead and hit um, G here, shortcut for the mask, and let's go ahead and apply this mask right around the mouth here. That's where I apply my mask. Don't mind. Final Cut King over there. And um, now that we have this mask applied, we can go ahead and reposition this video layer into, into our picture. So we're going to go ahead and move it down. 
and right about there is where we're going to want it. What we're going to do now is um, duplicate the bottom photo layer, so hit Command D, and we're going to bring that on top. And we're just going to um, apply another mask around the mouth, part of the mouth that we want um, to be overlapping the video. So we can see that his nose is, is going to be obviously above the tongue, and so we can apply a mask around that nose, um, which will allow us to place the tongue video file underneath the, I'm oh, sorry, on top of the uh, of the video tongue video. So let's go ahead and apply this mask here, and we're going to go ahead and hit M shortcut, and we're going to subtract this mask. So now we've got our video file underneath a layer that represents um, the top of the dog's mouth. Now we can see that the uh, color um, and levels. Of his tongue are a little bit brighter because of the way that we processed the um, background still image. So we're going to fix that by going to Effects and we're going to change the levels. So with the level selected, we're going to drag that onto our video file. We're going to zoom in here. A lot of times it helps to take off the mask so that there's no line dividing the different video files and it allows us to see the difference more clearly. And let's bring down our levels a little bit here and right about there we can see that the, the fur um, brightness matches up fairly well. And now we can even further um, blend this in by going to our mask feather. And there we have a tongue that blends in much more nicely. Now we can move this around a little bit to uh, line up the bottom of the mouth here and right about there looks good. Um, we can also um, see here that we've got a little bit of a uh, point here in which the there's a clear divider between the video and the photo. So we're going to go ahead and um, hide that with this line here on his mouth. And now if we click off, we can see that looks pretty good. Uh, now let's go ahead and render through this and notice that the the tongue keeps its position because we've already stabilized the footage. Now we we stabilized a second's worth of footage and that's definitely more than we need. And so what we want to do is go in here and and find a cycle. Now what we're going to do now is find a cycle, and what that cycle means is that the first frame matches up with the last frame. We can see here that his tongue is close to the bottom of its cycle, meaning that the position um, in real space of his tongue is, the position of his tongue is lower than the rest of the frames. So we also want to make sure that our last frame matches up with that. So if we go here, um, right about there, we can see that the position of his tongue is um, the same. So now if we render through this, it's, it's going to cycle through. And there we have it, the finished hybrid photo. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. I'd love to see your guys' video responses um, with samples of this. And uh, again, there will be a video coming out at the end of the week with more of these hybrid photos.